we are starting now for simple arithmetics uh, you are aware that this simple arithmetics may be asked in upsc civil services preliminary examinations then state level uh, if it is included then in state level public service commission exam say for example in case of maharashtra the exam is called as mpsc so in that also this uh, simple arithmetics is there and other than that various competitive examinations are there in many cases they are going to ask about simple arithmetics so we are starting out this simple arithmetics from beginning so first thing uh, let me clarify if you are expert in maths or uh, say for example you are expert in algebra uh, many time it happens that uh, those who are having fantastic knowledge about mathematics particularly uh, at engineering level etc but still a uh, certain tricks we require to discuss here and if you are not expert because i am aware that this category uh, this category uh, people are very few those who are expert but many students are not able to understand at school level or college level about this particular mathematics portion and therefore i am starting here from very very beginning so we are starting out from multiplication division fraction everything we are going to start here uh, keep in mind uh, you have to uh, when we are going to discuss this you have to take pen and uh, notebook or a full scale paper in your hand and you have to carry out calculation along with me whenever i am asking try to understand the concepts here now in case of uh, simple arithmetics we require calculation if you are very poor in calculation or many students they are having afraid of this calculation and so uh, let us have practice here uh, let us start from beginning once the confidence is generated we can go for higher level sums so here in this first lecture of simple arithmetics we are starting out from calculation part but uh, already if you are going through our youtube channel that is savarkar ias study circle then you will find that on that channel also uh, when we are discussing basic of physics in that basic physics video uh, i have mentioned this all calculation part that is basic part of calculation but here i am mentioning it once again so i am considering you as fresh and i am uh explaining this uh, fundamental part of simple arithmetics first part you must by heart tables so from table of 2 to at least table of 15 you have to by heart i am revising from table of 2 to table of 15 you have to by heart if you are able to by heart till 30 great but at least first 2 to 15 uh, you must by heart the table and then try after achieving this target you can try for tables from uh, 16 to table 30 okay uh, then second important thing here that uh, we have to carry out calculation many time in terms of fraction and many students are not aware or they are having some sort of fear in mind to calculate in fraction so first here i am showing you how to remove decimal that is how to convert fraction into whole number virtually so first part we are going to discuss about how to remove decimal uh, it is not that simple and so i am explaining you step by step so first important thing you must aware about indices so laws of indices and indices then it is easy so first i am going to explain you very simple part uh, that is multiplier of 10 so i am writing 10 and rather than that i am putting here indices as 10 raised to 1 so 10 raised to 1 that i can write as 10 1 time 10 okay now 10 raised to 2 the meaning is 10 into 10 so answer is 100 10 raised to 
the meaning is 10 into 10 into 10 so answer is 1000 and so on so this way we can find out indices particularly about 10 to the power now check out in other way 10 raised to 1 there is 1 0 on 1 10 raised to 2 2 zeros on 1 10 raised to 3 3 zeros on 1 so like that I can say 10 raised to n that is 0 0 0 like that n number of zeros over 1 so this way we can find out multiplier of 10 so now you can blindly say 10 raised to 10 what is the meaning 1 and 10 zeros on that 1 so like that we have to go so this is first part here to understand thoroughly now second part that we have to uh, ok you can take it down if you want otherwise keep in mind it's very simple and now we are going to discuss the second part that is laws of indices here so for that purpose uh, we have to consider something that is the a is a number uh, which is not zero so a raised to m any number is there so a raised to m into a raised to n that is equal to a raised to n plus n so here we are clearly mentioning a raised to m into a raised to n provided a m n must not be zero then we are getting answer as a raised to m plus n a raised to m uh, okay uh, let me clarify this if I am saying 10 raised to 2 into 10 raised to 3 ok same a any number but that same number should be here so 10 raised to 2 10 raised to 3 so we are getting answer as 10 raised to 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 same way a raised to m into a raised to n uh, sorry uh, it must be divisible division sign a raised to m divided by a raised to n but again implied condition is that a m and n must not be 0 then we are getting answer as a raised to m minus n let me clarify 10 raised to 2 divided by 10 raised to 3 that is equal to 10 raised to 2 minus 3 now when this type of situation is there that we have to subtract bigger number from smaller number ok so let me clarify here uh, when two numbers having same sign then we have to add and give sign of that number so just we carry it out here plus 2 plus 3 uh, it is not mentioned plus but we have to understand yes nothing is mentioned then it is plus so plus 2 and plus 3 signs are same we have to add them plus 5 if you are saying 10 raised to 2 and 10 raised to 3 this is plus this is also plus but there is minus sign so this plus 3 become minus so this is something the sign where plus 2 and minus 3 means signs are not same keep in mind when signs are same we have to add and give same sign but if signs are opposite or different then obvious thing is that we have to subtract smaller number from greater number I am revising we have to subtract smaller number from greater number and give sign of greater number so here uh, we have to subtract so uh, here I am getting answer as 10 raised to now we have to subtract uh, 2 from 3 so answer is 1 and which is the bigger number obviously 3 so we have to give sign of that and so answer is 10 raised to minus 1 now can we calculate this answer is yes a raised to m that is equal to 1 upon a raised to m uh, sorry minus m ok so when that a raised to minus m is at denominator when it comes at numerator it becomes positive when a raised to m is positive here at denominator m become negative a is not becoming negative so on this basis i can say 10 raised to minus 1 equal to 1 upon 10 
because this is minus 1, this is 10 raised to plus 1. So, sign is a uh, sign of indices that is inverted. So, this way we can calculate uh, 10 raised to minus 1 as 1 upon 10 raised to 1. So, this is the example. Last, a raised to n whole bracket raised to n. Please keep in mind here a raised to n is there into a raised to n. But here that is not situation. Whatever the answer of a raised to n that is multi uh, that is having indices as n. In this case, our answer is a raised to m into m. So here 10 raised to 2 raised to 3. So answer is 10 raised to 2 into 3. So we will get answer as 10 raised to 6 over here. I hope these laws of indices you might have studied from 5th or 6th standard onwards. These uh, sums are there in the syllabus depending upon every year syllabus. But uh, this is all fundamental part. If you are able to understand right now, alright. If you are able to uh, understand in old days also, alright. You must aware of this thing. Then only we can proceed further. Now after having this knowledge, that is how to convert uh, indices we can actually uh, start the procedure that is to remove decimal. So here a simple random number, any number say for example 55.059352 like that any number I am considering and I want to convert this number into whole number. Okay. So what is the procedure for this? So first thing, uh, I have to remove decimal, I am removing, but that will change the value of number and it is not allowed. So uh, I am removing decimal from here, but in order to remove decimal practically, I have to shift decimal, I should not say remove, I have to shift decimal, first place, second place, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh place towards right side. Say so this is the way I am standing. So this is now I am considering my right side. So I am shifting out decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places towards right side. And this is the number I am getting. Okay. So uh, when this type of number is there, you should not mention decimal. So that I am converting into whole number. But for that purpose, I have shifted decimal 7 places towards right. Therefore, we have to add multiplier here. That is 10 raised to 7. What I have carried out? 7 places towards right side. So this way I shifted decimal from here to here 7 places. But as I have shifted towards right side, I have to give sign here as negative. So the answer is 10 raised to minus 7. So this way I am converting this number into whole number by adding out indices that is multiplier of 10 raised to minus 7. Now another example it's 0 0.00005395 I have to convert this into whole number. So again same thing I have to shift decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now 8 places towards right side. So, as I am shifting this decimal, I will write this figure as it is. So, zeros here is not having value unless decimal is there. So, here decimal is there, therefore these zeros are having value. Otherwise, I can put n number of zeros over here. Okay, but these zeros are having no value. If any number is there, suppose I am writing here only 1, then also these zeros are having value. Okay, so I am removing this all. Just I have to show. So here, if at all I want to write, I can write this. Alright. So there is no value because I am shifting this decimal 8 places towards right side. And so I am removing these zeros and it is written as into 10 to the power of now decimal is shifted 8 places but towards right. Therefore I have to write here 10 raised to minus. Actually we are aware of the figure. This is the figure. But as I want to show it in whole number format. And I don't want to add this fraction. I am removing this fraction and writing this way 5395 into 10 to the power of minus 8. 
So this way we can remove fraction uh, in this format. Now sometimes we are having problem like this. So for example, five 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 zero 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 zero. Like that huge figure is there. I don't want to calculate with this huge figure. So I may say original decimal is here. Now I am shifting decimal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten places towards left side. So I will write this as fifty-five into ten to the power of. As I am shifting decimal ten places, but towards left side, that indices is in positive form. So I am writing here ten to the power of ten. Because here we shifted towards right side, negative sign was there. But here we shifted towards left side, positive sign is there. So this way we can convert this whole huge number into whole smaller number appearing small. Actually, value is same. So this way, with help of multiplier of ten to the power, we are able to make calculation to somewhat easier format. Now we are. uh switching over to a part that is multiplication with help of fraction uh or fractional multiplication so let us start here uh, i will consider any uh, common number any number we can consider for initial base say for example 39.9535251 okay right. multiply this number by 0.0000003 uh will get bigger number 35 or still bigger number we can add because i will show multiplication in the same format okay so this is the thing we have to carry out multiplication now uh as we are aware that uh with zeros it is bit difficult for me to calculate and therefore i will show multiplication in this format first i have to remove decimal so after removing decimal 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i have to shift it at seventh place so i will write this figure as because i am shifting decimal towards right side it is 10 raised to minus 7 Now same way I have to remove decimal here, so I will shift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So into ten to the power of minus nine. So now I am eliminating these zeros here. Okay, and this way we have converted. Now we have to carry out this calculation, but don't forget this calculation also because we have to show that also. Okay, so this calculation we have to carry out now. So I will start now multiplication uh, because we are starting out from basic. I am showing this. So first multiply by five. So five ones are five. Five five is a twenty five. Carry forward two. So five two is a ten plus two twelve. Carry forward one. Five five is a twenty five plus one twenty six. Carry forward two. Five three is a fifteen plus two seventeen. Carry forward one. Five five is a twenty five plus one twenty six. Carry forward two. Five nine is a forty five plus two forty seven. Carry forward four. Five nine is a forty five plus four forty nine. Carry forward four. Five three is a fifteen plus four ninety. So I am making first multiplication by this five. So now this is finished. Now we have to multiply by this five. But keep in mind, we have to place one zero over here, and now start multiplication by this one. Now obviously we have carried out the calculation, so that repeats. So five, five, two, six, seven, six, seven, nine, nine, one. And now last thing, multiply by three. But don't carry out multiplication immediately because this is at third position. So I have to place here two zeros and now start multiplication. So three ones are three, three fives are fifteen. Carry forward one, three twos are six and one seven. Three fives are fifteen. Carry forward one, three threes are nine plus one ten. Carry forward one, three twos are eight 
थ्री फाइव जा फिफ्टीन प्लस वन सिक्सटीन कैरी फॉर ऑन थ्री नाइन जा ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी एट थ्री नाइन जा ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस टू ट्वेंटी नाइन कैरी फॉर ऑन टू थ्री थ्री जा नाइन प्लस टू इलेवन सो दिस वे आई एम कैरिंग आउट नाउ कैलकुलेशन एंड देन वी हैव टू एड सो एड आउट सिक्वेंसली फाइव टेन वन मोर एड एड नाइन प्लस टू इलेवन वन सिक्स टू एट एट सिक्स फोर्टीन कैरी फॉर ऑल वन एट फोर्टीन फोर्टीन प्लस सेवन ट्वेंटी वन कैरी फॉर ऑल टू सेवन प्लस सेवन फोर्टीन प्लस सिक्स ट्वेंटी कैरी फॉर ऑल टू प्लस सिक्स एट प्लस सेवन फिफ्टीन कैरी फॉर ऑल वन सेवन सेवन फोर्टीन फोर्टीन प्लस नाइन ट्वेंटी थ्री कैरी फॉर ऑल टू टेन नाइनटीन नाइनटीन प्लस नाइन ट्वेंटी एट carry forward 2 11 20 21 carry forward 2 3 4 and 1 so this is the answer but uh, we have to carry out multiplication of this also so here we are getting 10 raised to minus 7 into 10 raised to minus 9 so ultimately when signs are same we have to use that law that a raised to m into a raised to n That is equal to a raised to m plus n. Now, when signs are same, we have to add these two. So, seven plus nine, sixteen. And whatever the same sign, we have to keep it. And so, I am removing this, and I am placing here minus sixteen. So, seven plus nine, sixteen. Sign is kept kept as same. So, this is the answer. Okay. But if I want to show in terms of decimal, bit complicated, but I am going to do. So original decimal is here. As it is minus sixteen, I have to shift decimal sixteen places towards left side. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and you see. Okay. Then you can remove this portion and write down answer as in this form. So this way. by removing decimal we can carry out calculation we can keep it as it is or we want to do this way you can do that way also or else simple method forget of this uh, decimal and carry out entire calculation okay after carrying out entire calculation count out decimal so here 7 places of decimal and here 9 places of decimal now add 7 plus 9 16 and start giving decimal from here to here 16 places so this is alternative method but uh, i will prefer this multiplier method because it is easy and mistakes are very less chances of mistakes are very less anyhow i am not very firm in calculation so may be possible i have committed some mistakes over here many time i am committing this type of silly mistakes so you have to track out and if any mistake is there please mention in the comment thanks